Uh, welcome back. I have Tiny with me again, my right-hand man today. Uh, Tiny is very helpful in explaining different spinal situations because he's thin enough that we can actually see some of the structure that goes on in the spine and the pelvis. Today, we're going to talk about sciatic pain. Some people call it sciatic, but it's sciatic pain. It's spelled with an SC, but it's sciatic pain. Sciatic pain is leg pain caused from pressure on the nerves in the low back and hips. Uh, it's only sciatic pain if it goes down the leg, uh, not if it just hurts in the hip or the low back. It takes more than that to be called sciatic, and it's named after the sciatic nerve, of course, which comes from the low back, uh, L3, L4, L5, and into the sacrum. If there are misalignments in those levels of the spine, if those vertebrae move either backward or rotate, if the hips twist out of place or the sacrum twists or tips out of place, any of those misalignments can irritate the nerves where they come out from the spine. And those nerve bundles are very sensitive. You can well imagine they, they have the consistency of overcooked spaghetti. It's not like they have strength in and of themselves. Spinal nerves are very uh, susceptible to pressure and irritation. Um, so if there's irritation, either from uh, narrowing this, the uh, space where the nerves come out, or when there's a misalignment, sometimes there's toxins released by that inflammation process, those make the nerves get inflamed. And if those nerves happen to group together and run, gather together into the sciatic nerve and run down the leg, that can cause sciatic pain. Very painful. It can be uh, debilitating. Um, so what do you do about that? Well, get adjusted. Obviously, we want to reduce those misalignments. We want to correct the misalignments. And we want to stabilize them in a better low, uh, alignment and better motion so that there's less irritation on those nerves. Uh, so it takes adjustments, maybe several adjustments. It takes doing some exercises, proper, well-prescribed exercises, so that you stabilize the soft tissues, the muscles that hold all this together, hold it in alignment, and allow proper motion again without irritating those nerves. So sciatic pain is, is correctable in most cases, uh, but it does take a little bit of work. It can be complicated if you have disc swelling or disc prolapse. Uh, it can be complicated by um, other factors like calcium deposits uh, or stenosis. Uh, so you have to take those into account, uh, but a qualified chiropractor can help you sort through that and help formulate a treatment plan that will get, fee get you feeling better quickly, stay better longer, and allow you to get back to normal activities. Um, so find a good chiropractor. If you want our help, you can get our, in touch with us through our website uh, or our phone number, which are posted here. Um, good luck with that. I hope you find help. God bless you as you look for be your best health and good function and uh, getting back to your normal activities. Huh.